Into the Fold is a podcast on mental health issues, produced by the Hogg Foundation for Mental Health. I'm your host, Ike Evans. People always think about design as how it looks, but we like to talk about the fact that design is also how it works. Um, and from that standpoint, design can do much more than just how something looks or feels. It certainly impacts those, but it can do things like simplifying complex problems, you know, reducing friction within a system, improving experiences for people, creating truly engaging experiences. So. Um, some of the things that we bring to that are processes that are well-defined that can help really um, understand the underlying human needs and then really take a um, set of processes that um, bring an iterative approach to creating new solutions that help really redesign or manipulate the, uh, sur what surrounds us and how we can think about that differently. in some of the design work that we're doing in the space of mental health, there are a lot of people to go take an empathic uh, viewpoint with about um, how they're experiencing the system. I mean, that's one of the complexities in and of itself. This isn't just a medical challenge. Um, it really does cross into a lot of social sectors. It crosses into law enforcement. It crosses into justice. It crosses into education systems. You know, it's it's not just a, a brain disease and a, and a medical malady. It really does cross over into every single part of people's lives. It's very much about um, going into the context of people's lives. So we um, go to them. We like to go to people's homes, go to people's, we've, for this projects in this realm, we've gone to jails, we've sat in mental health court, we have, you know, gone and observed um, different psychiatric hospitals, you know, for example, all different, you know, nonprofits and how they do their work. So we go in context and we observe and we listen and it's much more experiential. A lot of times the things we pick up on when we're doing design research in that way, in the context of someone's life, um, we pick up not only what they tell us um, through their words, but what they tell us through their actions or through subtle things that, you know, they may not realize they're telling us. They can show us things and we learn things from using all our senses. So it's not just, um, that's really how it differs, especially from something like quantitative research, which it's great to couple both of these together. But um, we learn very different things about why people do things, what their workarounds are. Um, what problems they're actually solving because the system hasn't solved those and how they're doing it. Um, that helps us know what problem we're actually solving and it gives us ideas about good ways to solve it.